In December 1952, Londoners woke to a fog thicker than usual. At first, it seemed ordinary, the city was used to its famous pea supus. But this time, something was different. The air was heavy, yellow-brown, and bitter to breathe. What people didn't know was that a deadly mix of coal smoke, industrial fumes, and freezing weather had trapped pollution over the city. For five days, London became a gas chamber in slow motion. Visibility dropped so low that buses stopped running, and people groped their way through streets they could no longer see. Hospitals soon overflowed. Children and the elderly struggled to breathe, while livestock collapsed in their stalls. Funerals were delayed because there weren't enough coffins. By the time the smog lifted, an estimated 12,000 people were dead, with thousands more left with permanent lung damage. The Great Smog shocked Britain into change. Within years, the Clean Air Acts were introduced, pushing the country away from coal and toward cleaner energy. But the memory of those suffocating days lingers, a reminder that sometimes the deadliest killers are invisible, floating in the air we take for granted.